TV power off. Okay. So our, uh, <clears throat> this is a ES8000 series plasma. Through our, our, smart, uh, our smart interaction, it's available on the Passion product, the 7500 series and above. Uh, smart interaction uh, is the ability to, with the built-in camera that the TV offers, facial recognition, uh, voice, and also hand gesture with the TV. So eliminating the need for the remote, Samsung's taking it to the next level. The TV's got a built-in camera that doubles as the motion control, uh, also as a Skype camera, and then also as facial recognition. Has a built-in microphone, so you want to speak to the, communicate with the TV, simply speak to the microphone. Uh, in the box, the TV does get uh, an IR blaster, can be plugged into set-top boxes, and you'll have the ability to channel up, channel down, channel 219, uh, set-top box on, set-top box off. If this just pairs to the TV through Bluetooth, and then the other, other side is IR. As of right now, it's just a set-top box. We've been asked for, because usually when you're selling a, a higher-end TV, I would hope, I, I like it, to not go all with just TV speakers, you're usually selling some form of a home theater system, or maybe the customer's already got a home theater system. So we are, I, they, we are asking, I have been asked questions, will it work with the receiver? I don't know the answer right now, but we are working for an answer for you on that. So I'm going to communicate to the TV through voice, and hopefully turn the TV on. If not, my boss is here, and I think I might be fine, so. <laughs> Hi TV, power on. The command for the TV is Hi TV. So, TV's now turned on. So, mom comes home from grocery shopping, two little ones are running around. She wants to turn the TV on so that they're occupied while she puts away the groceries. You'll notice too on the bottom corner they're popped up with the two yellow icons. That's letting the consumer know or the end user that uh, voice and motion are activated on the TV. You can have them both on, both off, one on, one off, however the end user wants to set that up. So using the voice control, I'm gonna to go to the smart hub, which is really the gateway for our TV, and we can navigate anywhere that we wanna go from there. Uh, and then with the camera and the facial recognition software, I'm gonna log into my smart account, and we'll go from there. Hi TV. Hi TV. Smart hub. So it'll repeat what you've told, what you've spoken into the microphone. I know that it's working because Smart Hub is starting on the top right. And then my, our Smart Hub will appear on screen. If I can ask a favor for motion, I find I better. Can we switch? Yep, that's awesome. Thank you. you can, please, get comfy. Can I actually, can, can, I'm hoping this works with the camera. Because one, one account, my account is registered and I want to show you guys what it's like when you have somebody who's not, not registered and how to, how to go from there. So, hi TV, log in. So it recognizes my account, because I'm already registered, and it recognizes new, new face, it pops up with new face. So if you wanted to create an account, we could simply just go create an account, but for demo purposes, we're gonna use my account, because I'm already registered. And you can have five facial recognition accounts per TV. So through motion control, essentially turning my hand into the remote, we can go over, and then it lets you know on the legend on the bottom. So just close your fists, it's essentially you grab the item, you do a circle, it would do back, and then you could also scroll as well. So it's connecting, and then on the bottom left, you'll see it's now Clint Christie, CC at Gmail. It also lets me know I'm logged into my Smart Hub account. So why the end user is gonna to wanna to create a Smart Hub account is we've got an exclusive feature built into our TVs. It was on last year's and it's on this year's. It's called Social TV. That's the ability for the TV, you st the consumer to still be watching TV, and yet have your Facebook account, your Twitter account, and your Google Talk account running live in the background. 
So being able to watch TV and then keep in touch with what's going on in your Facebook or your Twitter account. For me, I'm a big UFC fan. I follow on Twitter the president, Dana White. So I was watching the last UFC event. Um, I'm watching the event live on TV and he's tweeting while he's ringside. Went backstage, you know, saw Rampage Jackson, looks in great shape, gonna be an awesome fight. So it's the ability to, to keep in touch through Facebook and through Twitter. Through Twitter. So it'll sub-log you into all of those accounts that you've logged into. So I now don't have to then go log into my Facebook account. I now don't have to go log into my Twitter account. I log into the TV and then it logs me into all of the rest of them. Again, saving the end user some time. So from here, essentially we can go and do whatever we want. So if we wanted to go to an app, we would essentially just grab it and go from there. If I wanted to go to the next page, move it over, I'm gonna go back, or we can use voice control. Hi TV, exit. Exit. More commands. So it pops up with more commands and we can go everywhere from here. So you don't have to go directly into the Smart Hub and then from Smart Hub to Web Browser. I could just go straight into Web Browser. <laughs> so it'll automatically launch the Web Browser. So a firmware update we did yesterday allows us to allows us to navigate a web page with voice, which is really, really cool. And then also turn the TV on and off. So like when you guys first came in. So I'm gonna grab the address bar, search bar here. So it pops up with a keyboard. Hi TV. Samsung. So now it does the Google search for, for whatever you want. And then you could use motion control to go to that web page. And we want to go to Samsung. We want to go to product information on Samsung. Now taking us to Samsung. If you just want to exit out, you could use motion. Hi TV. Smart Hub. We're now back to our smart hub. I think that's, I can tell the TV where I want it to go. Google, TSN, Google, Samsung, Google, wherever you want to go. For me, it's Google, might be Yahoo, might be something else. You can set up your home page when you are initially setting up the TV. TV does come with, uh, the IR blaster in the box, it does come with three, rem three remotes. I'll let Brett talk about the remotes. The first remote is a remote control that's fairly fam uh, familiar. Uh, it's a simple remote control. Uh, the second one is a little more intuitive, it, it's a Bluetooth remote control, so it will pair with the television through Bluetooth. It has a mouse track, trackpad built on it, uh, a smart hub button so you can get into the smart hub really quick, volume up and down, channel up and down, a history button, which is in the new TVs. Uh, when you go into the history of the, the television, history, it pulls up your, the last few apps that you've been on. So you have a quick back to whatever you want to go to. So the web browser, the camera, Skype, if you were just on that. So the web browser will access the last page that you were at. So the phone rings, you get distracted, and you're like, ah, oh, what was that phone number? I must buy the sham. Wow. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Lacey. <please>. Yeah. <laughs> And finally, uh, there's a voice button on the, room, on the remote control, so if there's a lot of ambient noise in the room and the high TV function doesn't work by talking directly to the TV, you can push the voice button on the remote and go, high TV, and it will pull it up. Scenario, retail floors, mm -hmm. can't control the noise environment, the salesperson still wants to show a demo of what they can do, they can grab this. You know, obviously, they're going to explain, in your home, you wouldn't need to do this, but uh, this environment is very loud. I and guess if you're a fair distance away from the TV, you could have that still obviously yeah, in the yeah. kitchen and that tell them what too. to do. Yeah. The Going range, down, the YouTube. range for the camera and the microphone are 14 feet. So anywhere within 14 feet should be able to pick you up. Okay. So, two remote controls in my hand. The third remote control is everything Clint's gone through. It's gesture and and uh, voice. Yeah. And everyone's going to use them differently. You know, some people might just use the voice or just use the gesture, you know, or they'll just use it to power the TV on. So it's not something that you're going to replace these with, but you can use it in co combination.
And now you, you guys have seen that it does work. Unequivocally, once this product launches.